Hello everyone and thank you for being here for lesson 231. But before that we have another one of these pages which will be scattered throughout this last section of the workbook. This one is called What is Salvation? It says salvation is a promise made by God that you would find your way to him at last. In other words, the promise is sooner or later our confusion will slip away. We will finally get it that we are actually everything and we are expressing as everything and we cannot help but have that occur. That's why it says this promise absolutely is going to be kept. And in other places it says salvation is finding our way back to the recognition of the truth of us. This doesn't mean we will go find the truth someplace else. It means all that blocks our awareness of it will finally disappear. It guarantees that time will have an end. And all the thoughts that have been born in time will end as well. We will begin to realize that time is a construct in the mind as well as space for all of these crazy thoughts that we have. And it says all these thoughts that have been born in time are going to end. God's word, the truth, that which we cannot actually speak about is given every mind that thinks it has separate thoughts, selfish thoughts, egocentric thoughts, and is going to replace these thoughts of conflict with thoughts, capital T, of peace, which has to do with a different kind of experience. The thought of peace, the experience of peace was given to God's Son, to all of expression of the truth, the instant that the mind thought of war, thought of separation, thought of otherness. There was no need for such a thought before because peace was given without opposite and merely was. But when the mind is split, there is a need for healing. Now it's split between our inclinations to love and our inclinations to fear. Now, do not worry about how did this split occur? That's not for us to be concerned about. We're just concerned about its healing. So the thought that has the power to heal the split became a part of every fragment of the mind that still is one. It says was one, but let's make it present tense, is one. But we have failed to recognize oneness. So when we fail to recognize oneness, we do not know what we are. And we are terrified that our identity and the truth of us has been lost. So salvation is undoing in the sense that it doesn't do anything. It just fails to support the world of dreams and malice. It just lets go of these false ideas. Thus, it just lets illusions go. And by not supporting them, they just quietly go down to dust. And what they hid is now revealed. And then this is metaphorical, of course, an altar to the holy name of God, whereon his word is written with the gifts of your forgiveness laid before it and the memory of God not far behind. Now, do you recall that in the introduction to the text, it ends by saying, nothing real can be threatened. Nothing unreal exists. Herein lies the peace of God. So this paragraph about salvation is undoing in the sense that it does nothing and failing to support the world of dreams. What this says is that nothing real that can be threatened is our actual experience of ourselves. The nothing unreal that exists part is the sense of separate identity, the experience of separate identity. So it says, let's come daily to this holy place, spend it a little while together, and here we're going to share our final dream. A dream in which there is no sorrow because it holds a hint of all the glory given us by God. And then more poetic language. The grass is pushing through the soil. The trees are budding now. Birds have come to live within their branches. 
earth is being reborn again in new perspective. We now have an entirely different perspective of being everything. Night has gone. We have come together in the light because we certainly can't come together in the darkness. And from here, we give salvation to the world because it is here salvation was received because here it's where we found out who we actually are. The song of our rejoicing is the call to all the world that freedom is returned, time is almost over, and we, God's Son, expression of love, have just an instant more to wait until the source is remembered, dreams are done, eternity has shined away the world, and only heaven or that joined state now exists at all. To the specifics now of Lesson 231. Father, I will but to remember you. I just will to remember the truth about myself and all it is. Now remember, this Course in Miracles is still to be functioning within the world of time and space where we think we are, with an ego that we think is also what we are, and the whole point is to get this situation where we appear to be sufficiently cleaned up that we can let it all go. But everything that this is teaching us is talking to us as if we were living in the world, and it's trying to show us that actually we aren't, but it's a gradual process. So what this one says, what can I seek for, Father, but your love? Perhaps I think I seek for something else, a something I have called by many names, and my goodness, all the things that we as human beings have sought for. Yet is your love the only thing I seek or ever sought? For there's nothing else that I could ever really want to find. Let me remember you. What else could I desire but the truth about myself? You see, all these things that we search after and run for, we do so because we think they are going to confer love and peace and joining to us, and of course, that's impossible. So then the author of this course says, this is your will, my brother, we're in this together. You share this will with me and with the one as well who is our Father, that is the source to remember him is heaven. This we seek, and only this is what will be given us to find. Okay, and then remember, after you just introduce these ideas for a few moments, then be quiet. Let the thoughts related to the world, the thoughts related to your separated self, apparently, be quiet. Just let those go because that is not where you want to put your attention now. All righty, have a beautiful, quiet practice, and we'll be back together tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.